With over 600,000 infections, South Africa has been the country worst hit by the coronavirus on the continent. Yet it appears its response has been plagued with corruption. After public servants, members of the ruling party ANC and private companies were accused of looting from the country's relief fund, President Cyril Ramaphosa called for an investigation. Now the Auditor General has published his findings uncovering major flaws and corruption. An opportunity for fraudulent behavior arises when the disciplines of internal control have been weakened. In this case, that's what we have observed. That when there are fewer people who are able to monitor and supervise transactions, others who know best take the opportunity. DW's correspondent in South Africa, Adrian Krish, has been following the story for us. Adrian, good to see you. Um, is anyone in South Africa surprised about the Auditor General's findings? And can you tell us a bit more about them? Well, not really, because there were a few indications in the past weeks, actually a lot of them, more and more reports uh, coming out about uh, corruption in relation to those COVID-19 um, uh, expenditures of the government. Now, the South African government, if you recall, spent about 25 billion euros on its uh, fiscal COVID-19 relief package. That's one of the biggest packages on the continent. And about 7.5 billion euros of that is the money that was allocated to local governments, uh, and also on the federal level that was basically already spent. And this is the amount of money that the Auditor General looked into with some frightening findings, how he put it. There's a lot of irregularities uh, in the report mentioned and now these findings will be passed on to investigators. There's a special investigative uh, unit that will now look into this as well. Okay, the ANC, South Africa's governing party, has been blamed for corruption for such a long time to the extent that even within the party there is conflict. Adrian, you spoke with the ANC Secretary of Limpopo in uh, South Africa's north. Let's, let's take a listen. There is a, a golden thread that runs through every voter that you may ask. A golden thread of disappointment, that is uh, corruption. To measure the extent to which... Uh, Things have changed, I can say, to a minimal extent. Adrian, very briefly, is President Ramaphosa doing enough to fight corruption? When he took over as a president, there was a glimmer of hope that he would do because that was his key argument. He will really fight corruption now. And it was right after the term, remember, of Jacob Zuma, the former president. Under his watch, corruption was rampant. It's the time of state capture, how it is called here, when corrupt individuals took over institutions in the country. A massive problem. And Zuma still has supporters within the party. And this is what some people say, the reason why Ramaphosa has not been that effective in his fight against corruption. But this weekend, the leader leadership of the party had a meeting and they supported President Cyril Ramaphosa. Here is what the president said in a digital press conference afterwards. The ANC needs to draw a line in the sand between the organization and those who steal from the people. The NEC agreed on decisive action that needs to be taken to tackle corruption within our own ranks as the ANC and across society. Okay, that's uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa wrapping up that segment with DW's Adrian Krish in South Africa.